Hello, this is Jonathan Ford and this is the first ever video blog I've done. The idea is to reach out to the estates and let people know what Christchurch is getting up to. Now some of you will probably know that King Solomon had the reputation of being the wisest man who ever existed. And he was once asked, what is the purpose of mankind? And he said, the purpose of mankind is to enjoy life and take delight in the things around you. And that struck a chord with us at Christchurch. We thought, hmm, about time we started to take delight in a few things. So putting on some special events over the next few weeks and months, which we hope you're going to enjoy. The first is on the 11th of June. We're going to have a baptism celebration service. Over the last 27 years or so, we have actually baptised children from over 300 families. And we thought it would be a great idea to invite you back on June the 11th at 10.30 in the morning to a special service where we're going to have a great deal of fun. It's not going to last very long, the service, and there'll be tea and cake and things and photographs and everything afterwards and some special presents from us. So if you've had your child baptised here, or even if you haven't, please do come along and see what we're doing and see another child baptised into our church. Then, on the 17th of June, we're going to have the uh, Great Christchurch Cake Off. And this is an occasion where we're going to invite people to contribute all different sorts of cakes and come along and taste them and take part. There's going to be some celebrity judges as well as the mayor. And the particular areas we're going to ask people to contribute is the most cost-effective cake, the most easy-to-bake cake, a gluten-free cake, a diabetic cake and a vegan cake. And as I said, entries are going to be judged and the children who made the special banner and poster, which advertises all of this, uh, are going to be judges too. So it really should be a fantastic occasion. Now there are some people in our church who are going to Southeast Asia to do some very interesting things for down and out children. They're raising money to send themselves there. So on the 1st of July we're going to have a quiz and auction evening. They are going to be auctioning some pretty special talents and opportunities. There's going to be a meal at Theobald's, there's going to be uh, a meal for two at another restaurant, there's physio sessions, Asian cooking lessons, a uh, holiday pod for two nights, ironing services, gardening services, a whole range of things. It's also going to be involved a quiz and there's also going to be lots and lots of fantastic Asian food to eat. So again, it's going to be a super occasion. It's £10 to get in, but we really are hoping you're going to have a great time. And then, perhaps the next day, Sunday the 2nd of July at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to have a pet service. Now we all know that virtually every household on the estate has some form of pet. And if you're able to bring it along, we're going to hold a special service for you and we're going to bless your pet. would be useful to know what pet you're bringing, because sometimes the elephants don't get on too well with the alligators. But nonetheless, we're going to open the church at four o'clock in the afternoon and see who turns up. That should be a really good thing. Now, as I record this uh, blog, we're about to go to the polls. And of course, people are scratching their heads on who to vote for. Now, the interesting thing about King Solomon was, when he came to power, the first thing he did was he prayed to God and asked for the gift of wisdom. And because he did that, God honoured him and gave him all the other things that usually kings ask for, and he gave him wisdom as well. So my prayer for our nation, and what is a very important and difficult time, is that we should pray. Pray for wisdom, for how to vote, and pray that whatever leaders and whatever government we get, they will be filled with God's wisdom to lead our nation in the right way. Hope you've enjoyed this blog. I've enjoyed doing it. Bye-bye.